Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Nathanius, professional shoutcaster, here alongside Redwood Studios general manager, Michael Martinez. How are you doing today? I'm super excited to be here. Yeah, we're gonna do this presentation a little bit differently and give you your first look at a brand new mobile game in a live, winner take all, head to head match. <laughs> Michael, why don't you tell us the rules? Sure thing. The objective is straightforward destroy the opponent's base to win. Unit control, super simple. Just tap, it, tap the destination, unit automatically moves there. The most efficient way to destroy the opponent's base is with this giant nuclear missile in the center of the map. Control the missile by standing on a majority of the control points. A bar fills up while the missile is possessed. Whoever controls the missile when the bar fills up will fire the missile. It takes two missiles to destroy the enemy's base and win. That's it. Sounds great, Michael. Well, enough talking about it. Let's, let's get to this match. Absolutely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have an awesome matchup lined up for you here today. Fighting for the blue side of the room. If you could please give a cheer for one of the most formidable RTS players there is. Make some noise for In Control. Yes. His opponent fighting for the red side of the room a competitive mobile gaming phenomenon. Please join me in welcoming to the stage, Nick at Night. Now, Mike, it's gonna be a real clash of these gaming styles yeah, and the competitive backgrounds that these players have. It should be a great totally. match. It really is, I can't wait. All right, are the players ready? Let's uh, get this thing going. Ready to go. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. All right, let's kick this off. Uh, Nice little strategy game for those yes. of you out there. It's a good genre. I'm very excited for this. The players are loading in, and loading we are ready to the kick match. Here we go. This off as the players' bases have been deployed, and the action begins like any strategy game. Mm -hmm. Economy will be the focus. We right. have a harvester to start things off. Nothing too crazy yet. Nothing too crazy. And now the infantry is going to come out to hold that top point. Both players, of course, trying to take that position. Nick at Knight being able to reach it a little bit first in a strategy game. That flank position, that in control is going from the top side. Also very important as Nick at Knight's forces have to circle around the center. Right, let's see if he's able to create a two-on-one. Is he able to get there? Looks like he's getting there. Here comes GDI with a, with a Rhino. Yeah, going for the anti-infantry, and like any strategy game, the units that you're going to use when you deploy them will have a huge impact. Your micromanagement of your forces and protecting that economy as well. Yep. Nick and Knight with some attack bikes in the top. There he is. And in control, placing the turret on the top right side to help cover that rhino as attack bikes move towards the northwest position. Okay. We can see that the missile is beginning to ready and firing that. That takes out half your base. The most important objective on the map is to hold those control zones. Right, and in control making a lot of progress to that far right side of the match. He's done a great job of holding that down with the turret, and now he's redeploying his vehicles to the south side, bringing out more infantry to deal with the attack bikes. And as that economy ramps up, of course, we're seeing bigger, more powerful units come out. We have there the drill pod coming in the left side to help there it flank is. Putting those some flame flame towers. Right, absolutely. Again, those are going to tear through those infantry. Yeah, and in control brings out his first tank. That's going to be used to try and help push back these smaller forces as he makes his way to the south side. That missile passing halfway now. Oh, Both zone, two okay. zones in control of Nick at night. He will have the missiles. We see it starts to point towards in control's base. Let's see if in control can get around to that top corner, able to halt that missile. He does contest the missile, putting it into the yellow position. Yeah, very important, of course, blocking the, the pathing of those units is another big factor for this strategy. Holding those locations is so crucial as in control begins to secure the northwest spot. Another tank's going to come out from Nick at Night to take it out, but now he's bringing out the pit bull as well to help lock down that north position. This missile is very, very close to firing. Let's see what's going to happen. With another turret, in control flanks, he takes the top, that missile, and that fires, fires. Off. Wow. And Nick at Night, one shot away from being knocked out here as the next one will start to ready up in just a moment's time. In control's very heavy artillery forces are doing a great job at right. taking control of the map. Yep. And we can see as more of Nick and Knight's forces move up towards that north position, those harvesters, of course, very crucial, very important to protect those as your economy allows you to get these big late game units. The units are gonna come out a bit more slowly as you get more of them on the field. But in control, just spreading his forces out, trying to hold this advantage that he's had so yeah. far. Nick at Knight is trying to get in there, but there's a great turret placement from in control, blocking and just ripping through again those infantry. And we see in control now moving his tank towards this another drill pod we're seeing with some flame tanks. Yeah, bring in the flank. Of course, those flame guys do amazing damage to the infantry, help to clean that out. Meanwhile, two more tanks coming out 
from Nick at Night to try and secure those positions. He brings up the laser infantry on the south side as well yeah. to deal with that tank. Going for counters, trying to scout out and see what your opponent is doing and make the proper response is so important in strategy. Absolutely. Nick at Night cruising around, thinking about harassing those harvesters, coming around the far side for those rhinos. Looks like he's really pressing it. And when you see that missile is starting to get close to wow, firing with this. three zones in control for Nick and Knight, looking to set things back the other way. In control, trying to rally his forces around. He doesn't want to engage with just one or two units. He wants to move all of them together, create a good flank position, and take over that side. And we're seeing control. the first mech unit from In Control. This is the Wolverine. Gonna rip, and this is a little watch out for this missile. And Nick and Knight's gonna goes. fire that one off and settle right. for next missile is gonna end it. Next missile Which wins, let's see what happens. We'll have control, the Wolverines, as you pointed out, for In Control coming out to try and deal with these forces, but uh, Nick at Night's done a great job of getting map presence and now also harassing the economy of there In Control. There he is, yep, wow. Okay, we've got our first mammoth tank on the board. If, Nick, if In Control can get this in position, he's gonna do some serious damage. That missile just passed halfway ready. He's also bringing out his first air unit wow. to deal with those. Wow, a people. lot going on here. It's got a lot of range, that big boy, and In Control just needs to hold This it missile is fire. nearly gonna fire. It can That's be stolen at any point. Where is it gonna go? Is he gonna be able to get it off? Got it, Max. There Max it is. is! Gonna take it, defeating Nick at that was legit. one. <laughs> that was epic. <laughs> Amazing.